Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the BJs coming for the... Uh, I will repeat it once again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to Monday night, the gate of trust, the duty of the heart, might be the most important and the most crucial class in our life. If there's anything that a person has to be with Chazek on a weekly basis, and honestly speaking, I will tell you, on a daily basis. Emmanuel, it's much more easy to study Gemara, Rashi, and Tosfot, and Rashba, and Ritva, and Achatam Sofer, and Pnei Yushua. It's much more easy. You know what's the most difficult thing to, to apply? Faith and trust in the Almighty God. How that this rabbi said, everybody is talking about faith, faith and trust. Just they forgot to believe themselves. You can hear lectures after lectures. And we all overcome tests in our life of emuna and bitachon. So the first and the most basic avi items, this is what I saw in the last two days, this song, sit deep in, uh, going into my, to my head. Rabbeinu sha'ag bekol gadol. Rabbi Nachman was screaming. Sha'ag is even much more powerful from screaming. When you shout it loud and clear, en shum yeush. You never, a Jew, not allowed to give up. You're not allowed to give up. You're not allowed to give in. Giving in is actually good, giving up. As long as you are alive, you have to believe Kozman Shehaner Dolek if Shalit again. You see, the worst thing that you can fall down is, and the worst Avera I believe that exists, is not the Avera that you're thinking about Shabbat, Kashrut, Tfilin, Majesty, Lashon that all of them is severe, very severe. But they have one Avera that leads you to do all of them. How do you call the, this Avera? Yehush Dikhduch Vedikaun. When a person falls down to depression, when a person falls down to, you know, giving up, when you start, stop to believe in yourself, when you start to speak negativity, Rabbi, I will never get married. Rabbi, I will never this. Business is not good for me. Rabbi, God forbid, I have a bad mazal. When you start to stop believing in yourself, this one will lead you to do all the avirot. But when you wake up in the morning and you smile, Emmanuel, when you smile, smiling, Hashem, you wake up in the morning and you generate simcha. Purim, Purim, you know why they call Purim before Pesach? My brother said, Paltiel, a beautiful chidush. Purim is from the word Pirurim. What is Pirurim? Bread crumbs. You know the small crumbs that you, Israelis, we like these crumbs that you put in the soup. We don't eat the soup for the soup. We eat the soup in order to eat the crumbs. This is, the soup is just excuse for us to put 90% crumbs, 10% soup, just to get in the, the taste. Do you know what's mean bread crumbs? You know why they call me, Dr. Mikhail, Purim, Purim, it's bread crumbs, small crumbs, you know why? Two messages. The first message is, a person has to be happy for every step in his life. Even if the steps is not major. We like to do amazing and major items. Usually when you come in to give a shiur, and I told you, I don't know if I told you once, one of the biggest shiurim that I had for 11 years. You might listen to this for 11 years, Avi. I had a class in Manhattan for 11 years. Bet or Avara, only right now because of COVID. The biggest single class in Manhattan for 11 years. And there's no money, no operation. Small organization. The House of Torah and Love. It was at average between 50 to 80 people every week. Do you know how I started this class? Three people, one year. I was a rabbi in the Syrian community, and I was driving, took a, a train for one year. Only three people, nothing changed. Only three people. And I went 45 minutes back, 45, 
And in the beginning, the class was for three hours. The, the, the name of the class is, you got the questions. We, with God's help, have the answer. You know Radio Shack? You remember Radio Shack? I was too young. Radio Shack, they have this commercial. Like Home Depot? Right? Radio Shack, right? You got, they're still around. But they're young, they know, I don't know. Uh, they know Amazon, Amazon, Amazon for them. But we remember that. What's the slogan of Radio Shack? You got the questions? We got, you got the answer. Radio Shack, right? So I took it in and I said, we with God help. Chaz v'shalom, let us some arrogant. And it was an open topic. And you can ask any question you want. Five hours every Tuesday night for one year for three people. How many people will remain? Emmanuel is coming to give Shiru to Ryan. Two people is coming. I was one of the three. By the way, I was one of the three. <laughs> <laughs> so it was only two people. <laughs> this is the deal of three people. You are one No, not two. Two people. For one year. And my wife told me, listen, you don't want to give up or what? And why are you you're making such a balagan? Why are you losing five hours of your week? You go in the extra mile. I said, Shlomit, the name of Purim is Pirurim. Today one steps, tomorrow another steps. Later on it becomes history. Every organization starts with one crazy guy that decides to change the world. And he opened, and in the beginning he was not successful. Every business starts like that. Every date starts like that. Remember that achieving greatness starts with small steps. To come to Pesach, to come to freedoms, is not one day you wake up and you become free and you change your mind. Step by steps. Small steps can get you very far. A baby doesn't start running. I remember my son at one year old, he was walking. The first steps that he made was exactly when he was one year old, Menachem Mendy, Menachem Mendel. He made the first steps and he crashed down. Now usually when we're making the steps and crashing down, what do we do? We give up. We're losing hope. You're going out on a date and a second date and nothing working, you lose hope. Ladies and gentlemen, I went to so many dates. I never lose hope. I never stop. A minute that the, get, the date was over, and she decides that she doesn't want to continue, I decide, whatever. You know what they did? Moving forward. Day later, I called the Shatchanit. We move into the next one. Nothing. We have to move forward. As long as you are alive, as long as you are alive, how many times I see people lost a husband, losing children, and you can see that they are so focusing and they're moving, and you ask them, what's the secret? Thank God, Baruch Hashem, nothing, none of us here pass a certain crisis in life. You see people that really pass crisis, and they tell you one word, we're choosing life. Choose life. Don't choose to be a dead man walking. The greatest message that you can achieve is be happy. Be happy you live here. And you know what? I spoke last night in the beautiful event that Tifo 2 did, Dr. Albert and Esther Eliyayev, with Dr. Mikhail and many other people that helped. It was an amazing event. And over there I told them, when you're smiling, Emmanuel, you know what's, really what's happening when you're smiling? You're going out on a date. Which guy are you going to like more? A guy that is smiling on a date and is happy? Or a guy that might be successful, might be money-wise, he's made it in life, but his, his face is Tisha B'Av. You know Tisha B'Av, some people, they're walking, all, all day long, they have a face, and they're walking, even, even in the way they're, they're walking, like the whole world is in the shoulder. Instead of a guy like Paltiel that's walking like this with confidence, always smiling, always, Avi Kapala, Alav Avi, Avi, Dr. Mikhail, it's a good face. You see, you see a smile. Happiness generate blessing. Happiness generate positivity. Positivity attract people to get married with you much faster. 
you're going out on a date, you don't need to go to a date. You wake up in the morning, you're alive. Baruch Hashem, wake up and say, Modani, Modani, Modani. Almani Modi, Alma ta Modi, Alma. Nothing happened yet. Why you say thank you? Thank you for the fact that I'm alive. Thank, thank you that I'm young and beautiful. Thank you that I still can put banana gel, banana mousse, chocolate mousse in my hair. Yanu gel. Thank you. Thank you that I can walk. Thank you that I can speak. Thank you that I have a job. Thank you that I can come to Monday night to Shiu Torah. How lucky you are for coming to such a Shiu. How lucky you are to wake up in the morning and to come to synagogues because God chose you over 1.5 billion Chinese. And he didn't choose the Chinese, he chose you. Each one of you, God chose you individual. God chose you over 1.3 billion, uh, how do you call it, Indians. God chose you over 3.5 billion, uh, billion Arabs. All day, Allah, Akbar, Akbar, nothing bad, but God chose you to come to his house. He didn't choose, he didn't choose the Chinese, he didn't choose the Japanese the Italian or the France. He didn't choose, he chose each one of you to come to the house of God. How lucky you are, you are when you wake up in the morning and you can pray to Hashem and say, Modani, Modani God, because my life is as perfect that you can get. Yes, I'm not married yet, but I know that my life is perfect. Do you know why your life is perfect? Because need this moment, God gave us the greatest gift that we need in this moment. What's going to happen tomorrow? It's going to happen tomorrow. Today, in this moment, Purim teach you to come into Pesach, to come in and to achieve happiness, to achieve freedom. A person that has worries in his life is not a free man. You know, you might going to be in Pesach in the center, but you never celebrate the message of Pesach. To be free, Miron, is to have the ability to have zero worry. Don't worry, be happy. Right, you know the song? Don't worry, be happy. You have no worries in life, you have to be happy. And if you're happy now, how are you gonna be happy in marriage? If you're not happy now, don't think that finding a wife or finding a husband will make you happy? You see, when I went out with my wife, the question that I asked Palti and my wife is, after we got married, you know, usually you don't ask questions before, because you're nervous, maybe, you know, it's gonna look strange, maybe they're gonna cancel the date because of it. But after I got married, I asked my wife, I had the, the audacity, the chutzpah. What exactly you saw on me that you say yes? I mean, you know, I'm asking this, I look in the mirror and I say, what exactly is showing me? I mean, Hashem, beauty is that uh, my uh, voice wise is also not such a great voice. And beauty is not uh, my strongest uh, quality. You know, you can find much better. Much, much, many moves, most of them. So what exactly, Hannah, what exactly my wife finding me? She said, I was sitting down three and a half hours on the first date, and I saw a person that loved life. He's always happy, always generous. I always have something to do. You know, life, life, me, the life. This is what I want for my life. I want my life to be happy. Every human being wants life to be happy. You go out on a date and you generate happiness, life is amazing. Which person is going to tell you no? You go out on a date and you start with all the stories, how bad it is, what the bad mazal. I came from a very extremely poor family. I had many reasons to cry over. And real reason, you know? I mean, most of my life, when we opened the fridge there, it was nothing there. We slept six hours, six children, two ladies, two uh, my sisters. They used to be in the room, and we had no rooms. in the sofa bed. In the morning is a sofa, at night it become a bed, and I'm telling you, the bed of Motel 6 considered to be luxury to this sofa. Motel 6 is the worst motel in America. And that bed was much better from the bed that I was sleeping most of my life. I had many reasons to cry, bad mazal, aynara, negara, pegara, all this nonsense. And I decided to choose life. Ladies and gentlemen, choose life. 
choose life is not to be stuck in this life. Yes, I choose life, I'm still alive. Why, why, why I'm here? Choose life is to smile. Choose life is to understand that we are so lucky to be connected to Hashem Yid Barach. We are so lucky to be in Shiru Torah. We are so lucky to keep Kashrut, keep in Shabbat. We are lucky. You come in into Shabbat and the only thing that we have in mind when Shabbat is over. You come in into the synagogue and the only thing is why this Hazan is taking five minutes extra. You don't choose life. I'm not going to say you choose it something else. I don't want to mention. Let's stay positive tonight. But life you're not choosing. Choosing life meaning in that period of moment that you're in, you have to enjoy it at any moment. At any moment. You're in the shoe, enjoy the shoe. Enjoy the shoe. You're in a date, enjoy the date. I'm not saying if you're going to get married or not. I'm not saying that she, but enjoy the date. Enjoy, you know many dates I came in and I saw in the beginning that it was not in there. And I was smiling, and I was so surprised. Why, 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 why did, I mean, he looked like he's getting married with me. Why is he no? <laughs> the date went so well. Why? I choose life. I don't care. At this moment, I'm with you. I will be at the best. I'm going to make this place where in this moment, with God's help, the best moment of my life. What's going to happen tomorrow? Let's leave it for tomorrow. I don't have to think about tomorrow. I have to think about today. God put me in this moment. You see, miserable people is either or. Either people that leave the past, usually 90% of them, and the other reason to become miserable, if you want to be miserable, I will give you two great tips. Tips to become sad, depressed, upset, and miserable. Then you can decide which bridge, Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge. I always said when you finish, finish at right. The Golden Bridge. Yes. Put Papillon. Finish it with a beautiful view. You finish, you finish right. Don't go to Brooklyn Bridge, it's a cheap bridge. You finish it, Golden Bridge, you know, everybody, every American have dreams. Why? You want to become depressed, I have two great tips for you. And from this advice you can understand how not to become depressed. If you want the vice versa, just listen to the tip. The first one is, leave your past. Leave your past. Meaning, if you're stuck in the past, if you're stuck in the past that, you know, Rabbi, I went out on a date, and you know, I went out to seven dates, it doesn't work out. Maybe I'm not fit, maybe marriage is not good. I went out on a date, a person that broke my heart. I don't want to give another chance to another guy to break my heart. Beautiful, right? You might be right, but this one will lead you to be depressed. You know many times I went out and I thought that she's going to be the one. One of them, I spoke for one month, every day, three hours on the phone. We sent pictures, she was in Israel and I was a rabbi in Orlando, Florida. We sent pictures to each other, everything was amazing. I mean, you know what it means to speak, to go out on a date? 25 days, three hours almost every day. Every day we had so much in common. She came to Miami. You know, I, we decided to make it officially, so I brought her into Miami. One date before we make the final decision, we don't need, we already did 25 dates. One date. She said no. <laughs> why, why, why? Before she said no. Now I, have the, I had the right, with all this American mentality, I had the right and the real excuse, I'm depressed, broken heart, I screamed the whole night, right? All this nonsense, hearing music, you know, depression music to get into the mood. Yeah. I want to jump, my life is miserable. For one year not to go out. You know what I did? Three days later, I flew to New York to have another date. I choose life. I don't stuck in the past. The past is past. En shum yeush, you cannot give up. A Jew never give up. We had the right to be depressed. You know many Jews, 99% of the Jews can be depressed because of the Holocaust. 
and they had a religion. Not that they, they didn't work out. Six million Jews just died. And what the Jews did? They went to Israel and what? They built the most successful country in our history of the world. But how come? Any other nation, you're gonna put them 10%, 5% from our history, no nation will survive. Fact is that Greek does not exist. Rome does not exist. Babylon does not exist. All of them disappeared from the world because all of them got stuck in the past. The Jews, they are only one that never got stuck. They live in the present. God, you give me today a day, I will remind myself every day how lucky I am for what I have today. The other, the other advice that I can give you to be depressed is to live the future. To think all day long what's going to happen. But if I'm going to get married with him, he's going to be a good guy. He's not going to be. Maybe after marriage they're going to change. Maybe I'm going to have these children. You know how many times I saw ladies that didn't want to go with the guy. Why? They are afraid because she is not tall and he is not tall. Rabbi, I don't want uh, small children. I said, you need, you need to be afraid that your children will be healthy. That your children are going to be smart. What does she care? I, no, Rabbi, I'm thinking about, you see? I don't know if he's going to be rich. I don't know if he's going to be successful. We either leave the past or either leave the, the future. Two advice to become depressed. You want to enjoy life? Avi, what do we have to do? Live the present. How did we say it many times? Avar ein. Atid minayn. Aove benatayn. The past is past. The future, nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to be the future. Are you sure that you're going to be alive? One year for COVID-19 proved all of us that nothing is secure. So why are you thinking what's going to happen tomorrow? Live the present. How do we call it in English? Present meaning gift. The greatest gift to be happy in life is the value and the understanding that we are lucky for everything that God put us in. And to say thank you to Hashem for every step on your way. But I met we're so lucky. We're so lucky to meet such a beautiful and smart and talented people. Every year, you know, we just had our chazan, God gift to the world. God gift to the world. You know, he was with us for eight years. And he told me, Rabbi Vaklin, I want to stop because he lives in Main Street and his children growing up. And the children also need to go to, he said, Rabbi, I don't want to lose my children. I'm coming here, he's walking every Shabbat for eight years, 40, one hour each way, 45 minutes to one hour. He came to me and said, Rabbi Vaklin, now right away, what are we going to do? Oh, you, you, you don't leave me, you don't. I said, no, 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 I'm not selfish. When you write, you write. I let you go. You write. Don't sacrifice your life, the life of your children, for anything, even not for communities. Priority, your children have to be forced. If they're not going to go to a synagogue, and they're going to go up with no synagogue, what kind of children are you going to raise? I said, leave. But I had no chazan. I had nobody to replace. And he was so good. He was so talented. He's God gift. God gift. Brilliant. The way that he speak, the way that he's, we got used to him. He's like a wife and a husband that they're married for eight years. Eight years, Dr. Dr. Albert was so comfortable. Every day, the voice already in our dreams, we can hear his voice. And everybody was thinking, Rabbi Wagner, why you tell them to leave? So I never told him to leave. He decides to just approve this message. His family have to be first priority, I'm sorry. We cannot be selfish. When a guy came to me and said, Rabbi Wagner, I'm moving to Israel, I said, I bless you to move. I know I'm losing him being in the community, but we all have to think about moving to Israel. To Israel. If you're not selfish and a person is growing up in religion and spirituality, why not? 
I said, listen, when he's right, he's right. I prayed to the Almighty God and I said, God, why live in the present? First of all, thank you very much for the beautiful ears that he made. And I know, God, you, never, you will never let us down. One week later, exactly one week, a new chazan came to town. Adam, young boys, maybe six, 17, I don't know, 16, 17. And what a voice. What a voice. Ability to is reading the Torah. He is the chazan. And what is look up? What is What kind of miracle? I said, there's no miracle. You pray to the Almighty God. Hashem, hear our prayer. If you're doing it for the sake of God, God will never let you down. God will never let you down. What do we need in life? We need to live Purim, one day at a time. Purim remind you the same way that you have to be happy and the small steps that you make in a religious. Purim, uh, Dr. Albert, uh, is Purim. You know what I mean, Purim? Small crumbs. Bread crumbs, the small. Pirurim, one pirurim. Small crumbs here, small crumbs, Mecca, whole loaf of bread. Not always the bread is coming full. Sometimes it comes in small. Purim is coming to teach us. To come to Pesach, you have to go small steps. And to appreciate it every steps. If yesterday, you never wake up to Minyan, and today you wake up once a week to Minyan, then because you got better. You come once a week to Minyan. If last year you used to come two twice a week, and now you come three times, get better. Be happy. If you had one shoe to and you made it two, be, it doesn't have to be major. Small comes, small steps. Small steps. But there's another message. And this is the message, the real message for us, to come to prepare ourselves for Pesach. What's the message? Appreciate it every day in your life. From Purim until Pesach is exactly 30 days. 30 days exactly. And they said that to be prepared for holidays, we need to make 30 days before. To study the alachot, the rules and regulation of Pesach, you need to come to prepare 30 days. 30 days that every steps, every day you have to say, God, thank you very much for these days. Thank you very much for this achievement. Stop thinking about the future. What my wife is gonna do, what she's not gonna do. Ladies, I love it. I'm telling you, God forbid, don't get offended with what I say right now. How many times I hear ladies, they're coming in, they're coming to a date and they said, Rabbi, they're telling the guy, listen, I want to become a doctor. I have to work 10 hours a day and I have to go to university. By the way, they're right. Nobody told them that they're wrong. But I'm gonna tell you a small secret. After you get married and you're gonna have children, you're gonna see the dreams is one side in reality. Why do we have to argue what's going to be in the future? You do the rest and the best things that you can do. If God wants you to be a doctor, to be a nurse, to be anything to be successful, you're going to be. What do you think about what's going to happen in the future if he's going to have money to pay, to pay the rent or not? That I ever thought what's going to happen in my life in the future? I'm living one month at a time. And Baruch Hashem married for two, almost 20 years, a life 47 years, and the Almighty God always was there for 47 years, never let us down. 47 years is a long time not to be disappointed. And I was never disappointed to be next to the Almighty God, to be under, to be connected. You will never be disappointed that I knew every month how I'm going to pay the rent, no. But Hashem is Baruch. But you know why God did it? Because you have a faith and trust. You have emunah, and God never let, and you know how you know that you have emunah? When you're happy. When you're happy and you wake up and you're smiling, says God, Baruch Hashem, meaning that you have faith and trust. A person that is not happy always go outside with a sour face. You want to get married. You want to have children. You want to have livelihood, Parnasa. What's the greatest secret I shared with them last night? The greatest secret to make everything much faster. The greatest segula is not to go to the mikveh and dip in 88 times and having kavanot arashash, ariza, no. I don't know if it's going to work. It's not to get, the greatest segula, ladies, is not to wear these red strings, blue strings, green strings. No. The greatest segula is just to be happy. To be happy. You're coming out on the date, give a smile. Life is amazing. Life is, how is life? It's all good. 
It's so good. I met so many young guys. Uh, Dr. Albert, I'm real. They're going out on a date. And he showed with the ladies. Listen, I have no jobs. I'm broke. And he said after that, Rabbi, why she doesn't want to get married with me? I said, if I'm going to do something, I also not going to get married. <laughs> what, you joking? <laughs> you're going outside and you, you tell it. But Rabbi, I love it. American. I have to be honest. I said, we're Israelis and we're not so honest. You are American and you become, what do understand? You can, life is amazing. It's incredible. I have a potential to make business of one million dollar a year. Do you think that's your joke? No. If you remember that your father is God and he is Melech, Melchim, Melchim, why you hand, why you hand, uh, hand, hand, sh, uh, point low, shoot high. You're going to make next year one million dollar a year. You know why? You're the son of the king of the world. You're not, uh, you don't have imagination, not dreams. This is Dr. Mikhail reality, reality. The reason that this reality doesn't come in to pictures because we're not really believing it. If you're gonna believe that next year you're gonna make one million dollar profit every year, you will make it. You see Elon Musk, they ask Elon Musk, now is the talk of town, everybody's talking about Elon Musk. Everybody's talking about Elon Musk. What? Everybody, Rabbi Elon Musk, going up, down, down. 15 million dollars less, 15 billion dollars more. Balagan. You know what? They asked him in an interview, what's your secret? He said, the secret is that I never give in. I never give up. I never give up. He had a vision to send a missile to the Israel. He started one time, twice he fell down, three times, number four. He said, you don't understand. It was a suicide mission. Why? If I lost number four, the company and all my money is going to the drain. And what am I going to do? I did it. I did it because I never lose hope. I never give up. A secret of every successful human being is Rav Nachman Shoeg Bekol Gadol En Shum Rav Nachman was screaming in a loud voice. Do not give up. A Jew never give up. You fell down in Shiduch, you wake up in the morning, I start all over again. We're moving forward. You start a business and you lost it, you wake up once again, said God, thank you, I'm moving forward. And anything in life, and anything in life, the secret to become successful is having a smiling, having a smile and move forward. Having a smile and move forward. This is the message of Hasidut. This is the message of Torah. This is the message of being a Jew. We never get in stuck in the past. The past is yesterday, it was a beautiful day. We study from the past, but we're moving forward. Don't get stuck in the past. Move forward. And life has so many opportunities for you to be successful. So many opportunity to get married with so many great guys that waiting for this meeting that Almighty God Mesavek Zivugim will do. So many opportunity. What's the message today? What's the message? Do not give up. Do not. Happiness generate the Simcha of Purim. Appreciate that every step, every step that you move in is another step. Appreciate that every movement that you do. Appreciate that in life, anything that you have. This is, might be the greatest message that we can achieve. Rav Nachman Bresev, Shoeg Bekul Gadol, En Shum Yehush. Mitzvah Gedola Liot Besimcha. Rav Nachman was screaming loud and clear. Shoeg is not screaming, he's shouting. He was shouting in the room. Look like not normal, God forbid. Because in our days it's so easy to fall down to depression, to be stuck in the past. Yes, it was not normal for this generation and for every generation. People that get, in the st get stuck in the past never move forward. Successful. Happy, achieving everything you want in life, move forward. Kisheva ipol tzadik vekam. A righteous man is not a man that doesn't do mistakes. 
is a man that never fall down. He will stand up once again and again and again. Winston Churchill one time said, you know Mr. Churchill? He said one time, what is life? What's the meaning of life in his eyes? He said, life is moving from one obstacle to another obstacle and stand still. You hear that? Life is moving from one date to another date and don't break her. Don't be broken out it. Your spirit is still in. You're coming out to the new date, you're coming into the new business, you're coming out to the synagogues, you're coming out to the new Shabbat. Even though that God forbid yesterday, you made a vera, and maybe a severe one. <clears throat> you wake up in the morning, God, what happened yesterday? Stay yesterday. Today, I'm moving forward. I accepted myself once again to be connected to you, to keep in Torah, keep in mitzvot, put in tefillin, wake up to minyan, praying, modesty, nashon hara, each one of us in his own level. But I move forward. I will not be stuck on what I did in the past. You will you remind yourself all the averot. When a person is doing teshuvah and remind himself all the sin that he did in the past, they have a benefits and they have negativity. Benefit is that you're making, you regret what you did. The downside, the negative is sometimes to remind yourself how many bad things you did in the past will lead you to become depressed and leave religion. Because say, listen, I cannot fix myself. I cannot fix myself. And I'm so low. This is the secret of freedoms. The secret of Pesach is to remember that God came to save the Jews, not when the Jews was righteous, when the Jews was in 49 gate of impurity. The lowest level, idol worship, adultery, anything you want in the book they did. What kind of sin we do? Not, not such a big deal. They did all the worst sin. And God came to Mitzrayim. Shoheni tam betochtu matam. God said, I dwell with you, with your problem, with your negativity, with your anger, with your stinginess. I'm with you in that unpure place. And from there I took. From the, and well, what you need is having a faith. As Yeshua Moshe, they sing. What are you singing? They realize that only through singing you can overcome. Do you see, Dr. Albert, listen to this. Your wife is Esther, remind me, a debate between you and your wife. Listen to the debate. Esther was the queen, Mordechai was the king. Now, Mordechai wear a uh, poor man clothing. Uh, 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 Avel, Avel is a moon clothing, right? He's sitting down and put moon clothing. He's crying. And what Esther is doing? Is she sending him a clothing, a brand new clothing? And what Mordechai is doing? Avi, what Mordechai is doing? Refuse to wear the new suit. The new suit. Gucci, Shmucci, all the suit. You know, she sent them most likely a nice, beautiful suit, right? Expensive suit. And Paltiel, she refused to wear the clothing. And later on, before the miracle happened, before the miracle happened, listen to the story and you're going to see it from a whole different eyes. A man is coming into the king to kill Mordechai. What the king is telling a man? Listen, you know what exactly I'm supposed to do to a man that did so much good, saved my life. So a man told him, listen, you have to give him a special clothing. He said, go to Mordechai and give him the clothing. Before the miracle happened, Mordechai went outside when he's still mourning and he wore beautiful clothing and beautiful hose. What's the message behind? Listen to this. The first time you hear such a brilliant and an incredible chedush, it was worthy to come to life. It was a debate between Mordechai and Esther. How to approach difficult times? When you have a crisis in life, how do you deal with this? Mordechai said, you take it seriously. You go into meditation. You get in deep to the mood, the mood of depression. You're screaming, you're fast. You're making fast. Esther said, no, 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 no. Wear a clothing and start to dance. Dance, Hashem, what Hashem, the whole Jewish nation is about to die. What Hashem, what do you want me to do? She said, yes, only happiness can take you out from the difficult moments. It was a debate. How do you make the shuvah? 
How do you change bad mazal to become a good mazal? Mordechai said to fast. You have to fast. Do not eat. Pray. Go to synagogues. Become a sad mood. Cry. Do chatan. Esther said, no, no, Mordechai, you're wrong. Wear a beautiful clothing and start to say thank you to Hashem and start to dance. Come, God and God and, and being involved. And he's teaching Avi Mordechai. <coughs> Before the decree change, Esther is right. You know how you know? Because a man gave Mordechai a beautiful clothing, a beautiful horse. And only after the decree change, that not only that the Jews didn't die, they become the most powerful people in that times. The king chose them and Mordechai got the, the house of Amman and Amman was killing. Everything happened to what? To Simcha. How that Chsidim, they have a song. Ki besimcha te, te etzeun. In order to go out from obstacles, you need to be happy. You need to be happy. You come in outside and you said, God, hey, Rabbi, why I'm not getting married? Because you're not happy enough. If you're going to sit down at night and sing and dance and create happiness around you, you're going to see that the mazal will change. Venafuch, venafuch. It's going to be upside down. If the bad mazal was in these directions, now you're going to have only good mazal. If business went in a bad direction, now it's going to go only in a good direction. Anything you want in life, what do you have to do? Wear a beautiful clothing, a beautiful shoes, Make the makeup and the balagan that you put in your eyes, even though that you have no reason, it's no date. But Rabbi, I need to dress beautiful for date. No, you need to dress beautiful because you need to be in a good mood. And then you put in music, you know the boombox, you know how they call it? The beat, the beat, right? You put in the beat like that, ta-dam, ta-dam. No, not the, a good music that will give you in, make you in the mood of happiness. You wear beautiful, you go into fancy schmancy rest, and you have no date. And who know? Maybe in that restaurant that you went with no dates, the date is over there waiting for you. You're changing your life to happiness. Life is moving from one obstacle to another obstacle and stand still. This is what happiness is all about. Mordechai Esther said you wrong. You have to dress beautiful. You have to be in a good mood. You have to sing and dance because this is the will of God. And if God wants us to be in this situation, He's the best thing for us. Imagine if you start to sing, God, Hashem, uh, what God, what you doing? I'm, I'm so happy, and I'm also happy that I'm not married. How can I do something like that? If you're going to do it, you're going to see. That in one month you're gonna find a new date. Bez Hashem, with God help. Changing the attitude from depression, from sadness, to happiness, to success, to rejoice, will change any mazan from being so so to be the greatest mazan. I can see tomorrow Dr. Michael is going in with a beautiful suit, invite a place in a restaurant with papillon, and he said, Rabbi, I'm going out on a date. The date is within there. This is what the rabbi said last night in the shiur. And Dr. Michael, you're going to see that not only Lucky is the one that's going to get married with you. I approve this message. We're all going to rejoice very soon in your wedding. We're going to rejoice, all of you, in your wedding, Be'ezrat Hashem. Shenishma kol sason, v'kol simcha, kol chatan v'kol kana. Enat Hashem, amen. Thank you very much.